afterwards? Uh, yeah, I started at grammar school in 45, and by yeah, that time, yeah, the tripartite system was up and running. The thing was, did you pass the 11 plus? Exactly. You would have, <laughs> so you had to do the 11 plus. Yes. Yes. And you obviously passed. Yeah, but, yeah. And um, so I went to the local, well, not so local, I went to Wathon Dern Grammar School. As I said, my village was a very, rather remote one. There was no uh, public transport to Wath, so there was a special school, school bus. bus. Mm. And um, it was seven or eight miles, mm. and so we had to go on that, that, mm. uh, that bus uh, every, every day. And uh, the grammar school was a very interesting uh, place because it was very largely um, a working class and lower middle class grammar school. And again, um, later when I read Jackson and Marsden, I thought, well, okay, that was their grammar school, quite different from my grammar school. And again, don't generalize from Jackson and Marsden because, you know, they were concerned with working class kids who went to a grammar school where the majority of children were from uh, middle class uh, homes and they were in a minority. Yeah. But that wasn't at all the case in, uh, in my grammar school. These, there were four or five grammar schools built in South Yorkshire in the interwar years, 1920s, um, part of a very enlightened uh, educational program for West Riding of, uh, of Yorkshire, uh, inspired later on by a man whose biography should be written, a man called A.B. Clegg, who was director of uh, education at West Riding. Um, starting before the war and right the way through in my time there um, in school. And there was Wath, uh, Thorn, Goole, Maltby uh, schools. And Mexborough was linked in to these five schools, but that had been established uh, rather earlier, a mm -hmm. little bit different. But I mean, in these areas, there wasn't a developed middle class. Um, they were largely mining industrial areas. I mean, in the catchment area of, 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 of Wath uh, School, uh, there wasn't a serious middle class. You had a few mine managers, you would got some doctors and parsons, ministers, a um, few mine managers, but overwhelmingly it was a working class or low middle class area. and. If I think of my school friends, their fathers were miners, mainly skilled miners, or craftsmen who worked down the mine, mine electricians, mine bricklayers, or they were um, sons of people who had uh, local shops, you know, groceries, uh, uh, radio and electrical shops, and, uh, and, and, and things like that. And because Insofar as there was a, a managerial and professional middle class, then they quite often sent their children to private schools anyway. I mean, not, not I don't mean, you know, Harrow Eaton, no, but no, just, no, just local private, private yeah, schools of no great distinction. Mm -hmm. Just because they, I think, thought the grammar schools were really not suitable because of, uh, they were predominantly, uh, uh, drawing on, on kids from working class and lower middle class background. 